Find the product of 94 times 3,652 using an area model, which is our step one in our foundation of multiplying. I'm going to first decompose the numbers based on their values. So 94 has, the nine has a value of 90 and the four has a value of four ones. And then the same thing with 3,652. My first box is going to be the greatest value since it is the biggest box. That is one way to remind myself that. And my box down here is the smallest, so it should have the smallest value. Three thousands times nine tens is three times nine is 27. Thousands times tens is 10 thousands. So I will have 27 10 thousands which has a value of 270,000. I'm gonna underline that so I remember that is one of the numbers I'm going to add over off to the side. Six hundreds times nine tens is 54,000, since six times nine is 54. Hundreds times tens is thousands. 54,000 has a value of 54,000. Tens times tens give me hundreds. So when I multiply five tens times nine tens, that gives me 45 hundreds, which has a value of 4,500. Two ones times nine tens is 18 tens, which has a value of 180. Three thousands times four ones is 12 thousands, which has a value of 12,000. Six hundreds times four ones is twenty-four hundreds, which is two thousand four hundred. Five tens times four ones is twenty tens, which has a value of two hundred. And two ones times four ones equals eight ones, which has a value of eight. So now I can go through and add up all of these products in order to find the total product for this number. It's very important that you line up all of your place values. So using lined paper and turning it sideways might be one way to keep your organization and making sure that you're not writing so small that you can't read what you're writing. A lot of times our mistakes come from copying from our area model to adding. So make sure you give yourself plenty of room and take your time. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers I'm adding together, which corresponds to the eight boxes that I already solved. So I know I have all of my numbers, so I can go ahead and add. I have eight ones and eight tens. One and four is five, and five more is 10, and two more than that is 12. So I'm going to put my two hundreds here and regroup the other 10 to become 1,000. I have four and one more is five, and four more is nine, and another four more is 13,000. So I'm gonna keep three of my 1,000s and regroup the other 10 to become one 10,000. Five and two more is seven, seven and seven is 14. So I have 14 10,000, so I'll regroup 10 of those to become two 100. Two and one is three, so I have 343,288 as my product of 94 times 3,652. I'm going to check my work to make sure that I have a reasonable answer. And I'm gonna do that two different ways. So I'm going to round 90 to the nearest 10. 90 is between nine tens and 10 tens. And it is right here, so I'm going to round it to 90. And then 3,652, I'm going to first round to the nearest 1,000. So that is 3,000 and 4,000. And it is closer to 4,000. So this is rounding each number to the greatest place value. And 9 tens times 4 thousands is 36 ten thousands, which has a value of 360,000, which is fairly close to my product. So that is one reasonable estimate. 
but I can also round 3,652 to the nearest 100. And so to do that, I have 36 hundredths and then 37 hundredths or 3,600 and 3,700. And my midpoint here is 3,650. So that is right really close to my midpoint, but it is still greater than my midpoint. So I'm going to round this to 37 hundredths. So I'll do nine tens times 37 hundredths. And I didn't know what 37 times nine was. So I'm gonna do a quick fact check over here. Nine times seven is 63. Nine times three is 27, but I have three tens, so I need 27 tens, which has a value of 270. And so when I add all of that, that gives me 333. So I have 333 hundreds times tens is tens thousands. So I have 300, sorry, it's just thousands, 333 thousands which is also very close to my actual answer. So that is another way that I can estimate is by rounding to the nearest 100 versus rounding to the greatest place value. Go ahead and pause the video and you have a new problem. And that is 7,134 times 63. Now that you have salt, you can go ahead and check your work. I estimated this one to only the nearest thousand instead of doing the nearest hundred as well. So you only have to estimate one way to check, but there are multiple ways to estimate. And 420,000 was very close to my answer of 449,442. So that is a reasonable estimate.